Whenever I had a craving, I thought, that's it. I've got the craving. There's just nothing I can do. I'm an addict. I have cravings. I have to use. When I crave meth, I like, I got to go. I, gotta, I need it. It's like a, like a firecracker going off. It's that quick. I mean, it doesn't come at me slow. I don't see it coming. It's just, I'm sitting here talking to you now, and I, I might walk out the door, and it'll be, it'll be on me. Parts of our brain tell us when to take action and when to hold back. For example, if we see a new car we really want, the lower brain tells us, buy it. But the upper brain asks, can you really afford this? When our brains are healthy, the upper and lower brains communicate to help us make good decisions. Meth makes the lower brain really strong. A trigger produces an intense go response to use. On top of that, the upper brain has been weakened. It's as if we've lost our brakes and our impulse to use is speeding out of control. Now that I have this reason that makes sense. Okay, this is upper, this is lower brain. You know, and not just, oh, this is lower brain, it's not my fault. You know, I'm an addict, it's not my fault. But to be able to say, I see what's happening, let me stop it before it gets out of control. Just because I have a craving, I can breathe, I can work through it. There are people I can talk to. So now we know it's possible to manage our cravings. And when we do, they gradually get less intense. It helps to take it one day at a time.